Hey everyone, so I'm going to be talking today about Peppa Pig. This is part of my kids TV show series. And Peppa Pig I have to watch every day. Now I know that I always say I watch kids TV through choice, but Peppa Pig is not one I would sit and choose to watch. But my sister, she is five, she loves, loves Peppa Pig. This room is actually filled with Peppa Pig merchandise. Um, there's, you know, there's teddies, there's loads of different Peppa Pig toys in this room. So I cannot escape Peppa Pig. So I thought, might as well make a video about it. Um, it's been on since 2004 and it's still on. So it's been on for quite a good while. Um, but for those of you who have perhaps not had a chance to sit down and watch the delights that is Peppa Pig, it's basically about a pig family. Peppa Pig, George Pig, George is her younger brother, uh, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Um, there are also other characters, there's the Sheep family and Peppa's friend Susie Sheep, there's the Rabbit family and Rebecca Sheep, um, the Zebra family with um, Zoe Zebra, um, Rebecca Rabbit even, not Rebecca Sheep. But yeah, so there are all these different characters, different animal characters, but it always centres around Peppa Pig and her family. And basically each episode has a different plot and a different sort of a moral at the end of it. Um, and each episode is like five minutes or something, they're not long. Um, so instead of going through details of all the different plots, I'll, I'll tell you two plots. Um, one of which I was watching this morning, and it's Chatterbox. And in this episode, Susie Sheep tells Peppa that she talks a lot. But Peppa's like, I don't talk a lot, I'm not a chatterbox. And she, by the end of the episode, she does learn that she actually is a chatterbox. And she does talk quite a lot. Um, so she needs to sort of either not talk a lot or talk when it's appropriate and she learns that um, but Daddy Pig also tells her that is it, he, there's a line where he says it is okay to talk that's air quotes by the way <laughs> um, and that line where it says it is okay to talk would eventually hopefully drum into kids heads that it's okay for them to open up about things if they're upset it's okay for them to go and talk about it so I like that bit there but the moral, the main moral is that, that you, if you're a chatterbox you know stop being a chatterbox I know my sister, um, my sister is a really good student, she's like uh, essentially an A grade student even though they don't have A grades in um, year one. Um, but the, her flaw is that she talks a lot. So hopefully that message will get drummed into her head eventually. Um, the second one as well, Daddy Pig um, lost his title as Muddy Puddle, Muddy Puddle Jumper Champion. So it goes through how he has to train to become the champion again and all the things you have to do to be a champion. It's all about sticking with what you do and training and doing things right. So I like that one as well. Um, there are an awful lot of merchandise for Peppa Pig. I imagine most of the show's money comes from the merchandise. In fact, I'm going to see if I can swivel you around and see if I can show you this. Obviously, I can't really see what I'm doing. But there's a Peppa Pig there. There's a Peppa Pig above that Peppa Pig there. There's a Peppa Pig cushion. There's Peppa Pig slippers. There's books on there. Um, I can't actually see any more Peppa Pig toys. But there we go. And so as you can see this room is full of Peppa Pig things. So they do make a lot of money from merchandise. But the TV show itself I really like. And for me I don't like sitting down and watching it. But I like the, the, the way they've done it. And I like the fact that the kids are learning through these animals. It also teaches them about animals that they perhaps have not heard of. Um, I know most kids have heard of pigs and zebras. But you never know. Um, but yeah it's a really good show for kids. Not necessarily for me. Um, but never mind. It is on CBBS. It is aired, aged... Um, it is targeted to kids' birth, basically, to seven years old. Um, I think seven is pushing it. But it is a good show. I think it's more of a girl's thing than a boy's thing. Mainly because the main character is a girl. I know at that age they don't care, but I just find that more girls like it than boys do. But it is essentially a unisex show. Um, but please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on this. If there are any shows you'd like me to talk about, kids' shows or other, please let me know. Um, any suggestions I would happily take them but for now that is it so I will see you all next time. Bye guys!